Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem balanced array. So first, let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So basically, in this we are given n, n is equal to the length of the array. Now, array is 1, 5, 3, 2. First step is to divide the array into a left subarray and right subarray, okay? So this is the left subarray and this is the right subarray. Now, I need to find the sum of left subarray, that is 6 and the sum of right subarray that is 5. Now you can clearly see that the sum of left subarray and the right subarray is not same, right? One is 6, another is 5. Now basically we need to make this a balanced array. By balanced array I mean that the left side sum is equal to the right side sum, okay? So the sum of both sides should be equal. Now right now what we need to do into the question is we need to tell a number which we need to add so that the array becomes a balanced array. Now basically we cannot add in 6 anything, right? Because 6 is the greater value. Now to make 5, 6, I need to add 1, right? To make 5 equal to 6, I need to add plus 1, correct? So how to balance this array? I can balance this array by just adding 1. So my output is 1. Okay, so basically the output should be the value using which you can make the given array a balanced array. I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's move forward. What you need to do is, you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section, choose basic. Okay, then you need to find the problem balanced array. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now let's move forward. Okay, one moment, let me scroll up. Okay, so here is the question, let's read it. Given an array of even size n, task is to find minimum value that can be added to an element so that array becomes balanced. An array is balanced if the sum of the left half of the array element is equal to the sum of right half. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you. And we need to code it over here. Okay, so let's start. One minute. Okay, so let's start. Initially, the sum is 0 and this is also 0, right? Initially, the sum of both the subarrays are 0, right? Now, for i in range, okay? And the range, basically, let's go like a and let's do the slicing method, okay? So, this and this and then n slash slash 2. That means you need to start from 0 and go to the ha first half of the array, okay? After this, colon, enter. Over here, it is sum 1 plus equal to i. Now, whatever are the elements in the first array, you need to keep on adding them in the sum 1. Okay. Now, enter. This is for the first half. Now, for the second half, for j in. Now, over here, the range would be n slash slash 2. Okay. And then end. Colon enter. Now, sum 2 plus equal to I, okay. Now, in the second half, you need to add the remaining values into sum 2, right. I hope this is clear. Now, the next step is to check sum 1 is greater or sum 2 is greater, right. So, now I need to check if sum 1 is greater than sum 2, then what? Then I need to make sure that I find a value of answer. How to find that value? Sum 2 minus sum 1, okay. Okay, one minute. This should change. This should be 1 and this should be 2, right? That was my mistake. Greater minus the smaller, right? To get the difference, okay? I need to find this, okay? Else, else if this is not true, if answer, you know, sum 2 is greater than sum 1, right? So, else, colon enter, answer equal to sum 2 minus sum 1, okay? And finally, I can just return with the value answer. Okay, return answer. Now I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So I would click on compile and run. Let's see. Let's wait. Okay, compilation is completed. And basically my output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay, let's wait. Let's see. Problem is solved successfully. And this is how you solve the practice problem balanced array. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you click on the like button and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.